right, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 15. And in this lesson, <clears throat> we're going to be, well, first off, we're going to be placing fractions on a number line. But what's different this time is we're going to be placing any fraction on the number line. So let's do a quick review of what a fraction is. So uh, teachers, you're going to have to remind the students that a denominator is the number of equal parts that that whole has been cut into. So the line has been cut into, in this case, it would have been cut into five pieces. And then uh, this numerator tells us how many parts are we going to move over, or what are we going to identify or highlight. All right, so, and the other thing to remember is that when we're dividing a line into fractions, um, that we're not going to be counting the slices, we're going to be counting the intervals. So if I want to identify three-fifths on my number line, I would need to cut this line into five pieces, which actually requires four slices. So four slices will create the five intervals because it's the intervals that we care about. So this five is talking about the intervals in one whole. And then, if we want to identify where three-fifths would be, we were going to say that, okay, this is zero-fifths, here's one-fifth, here's two-fifths, here's three-fifths, here's four-fifths, and then here is five-fifths. And the idea is we want students to start to recognize what one whole looks like. So in this case, five-fifths is equal to one whole. And then three-fifths is right here. There's our, that's where three-fifths is located on the number line. So a lot of stuff going on, teachers. Uh, one, we want students to be thinking about the intervals, not the slices. We want them to remember that the denominator is telling us how many intervals we need, not how many slices we need. And then that numerator tells us where to go. In this case, I'm going to put where to go. So in, in this uh, example, we moved over three spaces. So let's get moving on this. So here, um, we're being asked to, let's see, uh, estimate the label on the number line to label to the given, estimate, to label the given fractions on the number line. And then be sure to label the fractions at the start. So you've got zero and one and then write your fractions above the number line. And then lastly, draw a number bond over here to match your number line. The first one has been done for us. Here you go. So we're going to do this next one. The next one says, okay, we're going to start with zero fifths, and we're going to march all the way up to five fifths. And because the denominator is five, that means we need to cut this line into five intervals. So one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty close. I did a pretty good job of estimating. And now we're going to label them. Now, technically, they just want us to label two-fifths. So this would be one-fifth. So this would be two fifths. So that's all they wanted us to label right here is the two fifths. But we could check. So here's zero fifths, here's one fifth, here's two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. So we did it correctly. Now they want us to give us a, a number bond. So that's going to be two fifths and three fifths. Why is it going to be three fifths? because from here to here is two-fifths, and from here to here is three-fifths. All right, we're going to continue practicing this. This time our fraction is, is in sevenths. We've got sevenths here. So we're going to begin with zero-sevenths, and we're going to go all the way up to seven-sevenths. And we need to cut this line into seven equal intervals. 
Turns out we're going to use six slices. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I didn't do a particularly good job of estimating, but that's okay, teachers. Um, same thing with your kids. Don't They don't have to use a ruler and be all precise and stuff. Just we're going to help them estimate. And, you know, especially denominators like seven, that's kind of hard to estimate for a third grader, but that's okay. Just give them the opportunity. Now we're being asked to identify three sevenths. So here's zero sevenths, one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths. So there's three sevenths right here. And that's where our three sevenths it lives on the number line. And for our number bond, here's our one hole, and we have three sevenths. And what's the other number? It's going to be four sevenths because these three indicate three sevenths. And then these indicate four sevenths. And if you're not sure about that, you can go, okay, here's one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths. So that's how we got our number bond of three sevenths and four sevenths. And the last problem for this video, it says draw a number line, use a fraction strip to locate zero and one, and then fold the strip to make eight equal parts. Okay, so the point is, um, teachers, number lines are kind of tricky for third graders to make fractions on. So as a scaffold, we're going to start with that number strip, that, that tape diagram, and we're going to label this 0 to 1 right here. And then students can cut their tape diagram into eight equal parts. Now, eight equal parts is two times four, right? Two times four is eight. So I use that little trick to help me that, to know that first, I'm going to cut the tape diagram into two parts. One, two. And then I'm going to cut each of those into four parts. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, right there. And how a nice little trick, I don't know if you saw that, but here's a nice little trick for how to teach students to cut something into four pieces, is I want to cut this into four pieces, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut each half in half. And that gives me four pieces on this side, four pieces on this side for a total of eight pieces. So that's how I cut something into eight equal parts. And now we're going to label our number line with eighths. All right, so this is zero eighths. And this right here, I'm going to squeeze this in, is equal to eight eighths. So that means right here is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and the last one is eight eighths right here. And I don't like where I put it, so really I should kind of put it right like here, eight eighths. All right. Now, question B says, count up from zero eighths to eight eighths on your number line. Touch each number with your finger as you count. So, uh, teachers, this is the point where uh, when we're talking about tape diagrams, we're, we're generally calling this, you know, like one eighth right here, and then this is an eighth, and then this is an eighth, and this is an eighth. And this is an eighth. So we're on our tape diagram. It's really easy to see that it's these intervals that are the eighths, right? And it's the same thing on our number lines. But the difference is you record the fraction on the slice. <laughs> and this is why teaching with number lines is so important. It's, um, it's tricky. And a lot of teachers just want to say, well, teaching with a picture is easier. Because, sure, tape diagram is easier. 
but that's not going to help our students with their fourth grade and their fifth grade fractions that they're going to be expected to do. So that's why we're working on number lines for our third graders. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 15, Placing Any Fraction on a Number Line.